Hmm, so there was some shady stuff. Someone was watching somebody on a monitor. Um, could be a computer, laptop, tablet, could be a phone. Um, they're watching a feminine energy. Somebody could be, somebody could work in an office. Somebody that you cut ties with or could have severed ties with could have been watching you um, using technology. Somebody was a pompous ass. Um, they could have been using a phone as well, so there could have been some sort of communication. Um, you could have blocked them or they were trying to use their phone or uh, they could have tried to hack your phone. <clears throat> Somebody was upset that they couldn't gain access to your phone. That's interesting. Somebody could have been being monitored on the phone. So somebody could have had like some sort of bugging device. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but somebody was doing something using a phone. They were trying to use a phone, hack a phone, um, call you, contact you. Somebody that was watching. They could have been watching you and they could have been expecting you to contact them. Uh, maybe they reached out, maybe they didn't, but they could have been trying to get your attention. So they could have done something intentionally online to try to trigger you to like contact them. And um, it didn't happen. Something didn't work out the way somebody thought it was going to. They could have tried to trigger you intentionally. Uh, maybe trigger some sort of memory. There's a few that's trying to pop out. Whoa, there we go. <clears throat> you two would want the best. Let's be our own inspectors. Somebody could have hired um, like an independent investigator or private eye. There could have been something to do with the work situation um, where someone blew the whistle. You're darn tuned, keep on shooting. So somebody could have blown the whistle on something here. <clears throat> and um, someone is finding out that someone, someone is a good person. This could be a private investigator. It's somebody who's doing something independently. Something was not secure, making victory secure in the reverse. So somebody blew the whistle on something. They could have lied. There's somebody here who could have been dishonest and lied and acted like they were blowing the whistle on somebody that was doing something underhanded um, to take someone's security away from them and, and ensure some sort of victory for themselves. Make today a safe today, but you're safe from something here, some sort of investigation or somebody looking into something is going to ensure that you're safe. You're safe from harm. More, 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 more production. So you're safe, you're, you could be producing, working hard, you could be putting out more of something. So someone could have tried to expose some sort of bullshit secret about you to try to whip your security out from underneath you, um, like pull it out from under you and cause you to fail in doing something. Um, they could have tried to make you look like you were not like um, like a real deal, like, um, like a fraud, or um, they tried to make you look bad. So they could have been spreading like gossip and rumors, but you are safe from something and you ended up putting out like more production. Someone was trying to stop you from producing something. This could even be working or making money, but you're producing, you're safe. You're, something is safe here. Someone is uniting with you. There could be a group of people coming together to unite with you. United, we will win. So something is coming together. This could be a group of people or just you know, the puzzle pieces coming together to make sense about a situation to somebody. I'm proud. My husband wants me to do my part. So there could be a married couple here that's part of a group that wants to work with you. This is our war. Okay, so somebody wants to help you fight. So if you've been dealing with a lot of conflict, a lot of battles, um, there could be a married couple here who wants to step up and help you fight. Or there's somebody, a group of people here that wants to help you fight off a married couple that's doing some shady shit to you. Somebody doesn't have a defense here. Somebody is, somebody tried to render you defenseless. Oh, we'll buy him. 
You buy them, we'll fly them. Defense. Somebody wanted you to do all the work, but they wanted the rewards. They wanted to take something from you and leave you defenseless. Work, give, fight. Someone wanted you to work your ass off so that they could just come and take something. There's an economic imbalance here. The cost of living, keep up the good work, keep living costs down. Something is not even. Something isn't matching up here. So whatever somebody said, something that someone said here is not matching up with their actions. There's an imbalance here. This could be an economic imbalance, a financial imbalance. You could be receiving some sort of communication. Telephones saved here, help the war over there. You could be receiving some sort of communication in the near future here. Where someone is getting, oh, there's going to be a communication. Someone's going to be forced to take some sort of action. Use it up, wear it out. Someone wanted to wear you out, cause an imbalance, cause a financial imbalance. They wanted you to be exhausted and drained. They wanted you to work your ass off so they could come and steal something from you and not have to do the work themselves. You could have had to make do with what you've had. You could have been kind of in a poverty state, you know, working your ass off and not having anything to show for it, or that's what someone wanted for you. Someone here is going to be receiving communication that they're being forced to do something. I'm telling you on June 28th, I expect you to enlist in the army. Someone's trying to force something to happen or someone's being forced. Someone could have gotten a call or they're going to get a call um, telling them to stop. They have to stop doing something or something's not working out. This could also be a police enforcement regarding a situation. Um, so the authorities could be getting involved. Uh, let's see who some of these people are here. So there was a thief, there was a betrayal. Somebody was trying to betray someone. Somebody did betray someone. To keep them stuck in place barriers in their path. So there was a barrier that was placed in someone's path because there was a betrayal. Somebody betrayed another person. They were very disloyal. They didn't offer you your flowers. They were not compassionate towards you. So this is somebody that maybe you expected to be compassionate to you. Um, could it be a it could be a parental figure, like it could be a mother, child, father, son, something like that. Uh, but somebody here was not compassionate and they were intentionally placing barriers in your path and they betrayed you. And they caused a financial imbalance. So whatever betrayal this is, it caused an imbalance. They wanted you to work hard so they could take something from you. Or maybe you refused to work for this person and give them your hard-earned money. And because you refused to give them something that they didn't deserve because something didn't add up something was not worth the value of what they were wanting it's like somebody wanted you to pay out money for something um it's like somebody wanted you to pay louis vuitton prices for a dollar tree quality item kind of thing and they wanted you to bust your ass to do something someone's worried about their money page of pentacles someone could be um running low on money finances Someone could be in an impoverished state, worried about their financial stability. Somebody could have affected someone's life's calling, someone's work. Someone was trying to stop you from building a legacy, and they did this by affecting your finances. They wanted to take what you were working on, what you were building for themselves. It's like they wanted you to start up something. This is like if you started up a business or something. This is the kind of person that after it's all started and running, it's like they wanted to come in and take it away from you and like pull it out from under you after you already built the foundation for something. It's like somebody didn't want to do the work themselves, but they wanted the benefits of it. It was just easier to be a thief and cause problems for you, or so they thought. <clears throat> yeah, but they're the ones that's going to be worried about their financial stability, because if they thought they were going to get this Ace of Pentacles off of you, they're wrong. Someone's not getting this Ace of Pentacles, this new start, this new beginning that they were expecting to get. They were expecting to get a house, a job, or um, whatever they planned on taking from you. Relationship, it didn't work. 
something is moving forward someone's walking away from a situation and they're moving away so this could be you who's walking away from a situation and moving in a different direction there's something that's in motion with the chariot energy something is already moving towards you or you're moving towards something and somebody was trying to stop that someone was trying to stop your movement someone was trying to stop you from building something it's like okay you've done enough of the work now it's my turn i'm just going to take this from you and you can just keep starting over it's like someone wanted you to keep starting over and over and over again like maybe you'd get ahead a little bit and someone would rip the rug out from under you and <clears throat> there's an emotional situation here so emotions are running high you could be alone you could be in solitude you know dealing with life trying to heal from something they only cared about their financial stability so someone did something to you they took some sort of action and created this imbalance because they wanted to line their pockets and make money and make a profit and they wanted to do it in a very sleazy kind of way here because of your talents because you can be making money like you're very gifted at whatever it is you're doing and you could love yourself you know ace of cups here you could be loving on yourself you could be in good health And someone is upset that maybe someone didn't go towards them with a love offer. And maybe they wanted to come towards you with that Ace of Cups. So someone could have intentionally tried to steal your work or whatever foundation or platform you were building. Because they wanted what you had. Because they were expecting to get some sort of new start, a new beginning. There's a gold digging ass King of Pentacles here. They were broke. They may not have any money. And so they wanted to take what you had. They're not good at managing money, but they could portray themselves as if they have some sort of wealth. And then uh, we have the Queen of Wands here. <clears throat> so they wanted to be with, um, okay, so someone here, this King of Pentacles could have uh, chosen this Queen of Wands, this unsettled, reckless, um, hoish energy, someone who's not a leader or compassionate and they were just worried about their financial stability and they could have worked together behind the scenes to do this to a divine femur masculine they wanted to take whatever you were building from you yeah they made a bad decision they made a decision to worry about their own financial stability and how to take your finances from you and financial balance is going to be restored with the six of pentacles so they could have actually already stolen something or they're trying to steal something. Yeah, that gold digging ass queen of pentacles in the reverse. They caused a financial imbalance. That's the challenge. Someone's too greedy. They're greedy. They, they didn't know when to stop. Now someone wants to rush in with a knight of swords. So someone's rushing in to, to take some sort of action. Could be to speak some sort of truth. That could be the person who wants to blow the whistle on what's going on because they want to come in partnership with someone here with the Two of Cups. Oh, these two karmic energies here, they place themselves under judgment by doing scamming or hustling. Judgment is going to be enforced. Um, you know, whatever karmic laws or secular laws they've broken, the truth is being exposed with the Ace of Swords. The truth is being made known. Someone is getting enlightened. This is a big truth. This isn't a little truth. This is a big deal. Whatever whistle, whatever secret is being exposed, it involves a Queen of Cups, and someone is getting educated about this. With a page of swords, there's a truth. There could be a message of truth. There's a message. Someone's getting a message regarding this Queen of Cups, someone who's someone who's emotionally balanced, loving, and caring. calmer water so somebody wants to come into union with you with the two of cups and this has someone upset someone is very upset about this a karmic person a karmic person that you were connected to possibly a past lover so the queen of wands in the reverse or the king of pentacles in the reverse could have been your ex 
they lied, Page of Swords. They sent a message. So there was some sort of dishonest lie that was told by this person. And they're upset because it didn't work. So someone lied about you. Confirmation. A masculine energy in the reverse. So this emperor in the reverse was a tyrant. People are talking about this. There's a lot of talk going on. There could be a, a group of people meeting together to figure out something try to figure out what to do or how to make bring balance to a situation it could also be this emperor in the reverse meeting with a couple people trying to figure out how they're going to move forward because they were trying to stop you from receiving an offer by causing a lot of conflict keeping you fighting battles they didn't want you to have this new start this new beginning because they wanted to take it from you it could also be a large lump sum of money here with the ace of pentacles so they intentionally created an injustice for you somebody could have wanted conservatorship or power of eternity but not eternity attorney over you this is bringing a tower moment someone's at a crossroads there's a decision to make two of swords this can also represent a stalemate where um they, they don't have the power to win over you or defeat you they just have to accept something someone has to accept something for what it is because they wanted you to be juggling finances you may have been juggling um, they're going to have to be juggling their finances and they're going to be concerned. They were so worried about their own financial stability that they were, they didn't care if you were, um, if you had something, if you were lacking something, they just wanted to take it from you. They didn't care if you didn't have a way to pay your bills or, um, even buy food or survive. And they don't get a clean slate. They're not getting a clean slate somebody wants to be compassionate towards you they want to offer you some flowers someone is going to have compassion for you they have a decision to make so someone is at the crossroads and they could ultimately be making the decision to be compassionate to you in a situation There's someone here who's choosing to walk away. Emotions are running high. Um, someone may just be choosing to um, not be emotionally invested in a situation anymore. There's not fond memories um, with somebody. There was some bad communication that could have been going on between you and another person. There could have been some sort of fighting. Uh, this could even be with technology. And there was an imbalance that was created. Someone, somebody was trying to fight with you. This emperor in the reverse. They were a karmic. So there's an emperor here who was a karmic. And they were trying to stop something from, me, from coming towards you. Or stop you from moving forward. By affecting your memories. Or making you have bad memories. Or causing bad memories. So someone was trying to inflict some sort of emotional trauma on you. Or trauma bond with you. And they were keeping secrets. Someone from your past is trying to get back in touch with you. So this is somebody that you could have walked away from. Or somebody that walked away from you. And um, they want to come back to you. They're having. They're thinking about you. Having memories of you. They want you to feel. It's like they want you to forget all the shit that they've done. All the bad stuff. It's like they want to wipe your memory clean of all the bad stuff that happened. And what they did to you. And the secrets that they were that they were keeping. In the fact that they were watching your communication. So somebody could have been watching you. Or who you, who you were communicating with. This could have been on the internet. Or um, on their phone. Or your phone. They were watching who you were communicating with. The Empress and the Upright. Somebody from your past wants to come back to you. Empress, you're going to have a positive outcome. You are the wounded warrior, so you've been hurt. You've made it through a situation. Someone wanted you to be in poverty, so they created barriers. That's why they lied. They sent a message of lies. And um, then we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So, Empress, you could be the Queen of Pentacles. Or there's a Queen of Pentacles energy here. You're good with money, finances. Somebody was addicted and obsessed 
with taking a nine of pentacles or stopping you from relaxing and, and being comfortable. They didn't want you to enjoy that sweet life. Somebody thought that they could take a significant amount of money from you and that something would just work out for them. But you're manifesting or there's an illusion that someone is seeing through or that and that could be the person that wants to come into union with you, that two of cups, or you're just the magician, you know, you're just creating and manifesting at this time. Here's a false twin flame here. So that's that karmic. It's that karmic twin situation. That, that could be the person that wants to come towards you. Something is not changing or somebody didn't want something to transform or change for a feminine. So this masculine could be coming back towards a feminine to stop something from changing. There's a group of people here that's walking away that's abandoning something that um, could have tried to elevate themselves by stopping someone from transforming. So if something changed for this feminine, this empress energy, this group was not able to get something or make something happen. This karmic could have tried to enlist the help of a group of people and um, they're not able to do something. Um, they did it with lies. So whatever lie they told to get this group to take some sort of action against this feminine uh, something's backfiring they tried to stop possibly from you ascending or something but you already did you've already ascended and they were trying to stop that from yeah. there was definitely not an equal give and take in this situation there could be financial differences between you and this person so maybe because you didn't have a lot of money or something um at least at one time and maybe this person did or at least portray themselves to have money they thought they were better than you and so they just i don't know they they just keep wanting to rob you but you're into a new cycle you're entering into a new cycle and someone wants to communicate with you but um that's because someone turned their back on another person here and it could be because this group is not helping this person anymore and they need money or you turned your back on this person because you knew that they were working with somebody to cause you this financial imbalance. You knew somebody was trying to steal something from you. And it is relating to something that you were working on building for yourself. But now that you're in this new cycle, somebody wants to communicate with you. But it looks like it's still this false twin, this karmic twin. It's like they're still on that bullshit. And you're grounded. So that's the challenge for them is because you're grounded and someone's not your friend anymore. You don't want to be friends with somebody. It's like someone could be communicating like, hey, let's just be friends. Let's be buddies. And you don't want to socialize with this person. You don't even want to have a conversation with this person. Message and phone. Someone's going to call. Someone is going to send a message, call, send a text. You're going to get a message about about this person or from this person because they're out of options so they want to come towards the empress and make a deal but they want to make this deal so they can burn you they ran out of options when it came to a person that they, they were working with um, that could have been the per, a friend that they were sleeping with um, that feminine energy that queen of wands energy in the reverse you could be just spending a lot of time by yourself because you're juggling a lot. So you could be choosing to be single, just trying to sort your shit out because there's a lot of um, situations going on. It's like every time you get one thing dealt with, it's like five more things could be coming your way and you're just trying to get your shit sorted out, sort your life out, and you're just focused on you and what you've got going on. So you may not be really open to a love situation or dealing with anyone, especially if you know that they're a karmic. And if you know that they were dealing with another person, like if you're a feminine and this is a masculine that was dealing with another feminine um, that they claimed was just a friend. You know that song, you say he just a friend. You say he just a friend. Yeah, they were not just friends. They were, there was seduction, lusty busty there. Somebody was seduced. They ran out of options. 
Um, they were trying to heavy, you know, place heavy burdens on you. They had a group of people here. Lusty Busty could have been behind sending some people your way, a group of people your way to stop you from rebuilding or moving forward because maybe they didn't want to lose this masculine because they thought that he had money or something. Turns out that he may not have as much money as he let on, so she could have walked away from him. Now he's out of options, wants to come back towards you. Yeah, this is somebody that you were you were connected to in, in a relationship with. Somebody was in a relationship with another person. They were not just friends. They were lovers. And here you are, Empress. So a challenge, the challenge is, is Empress, you know that there, there were more than... There was stuff going on that they were lying about. That they were possibly meeting up secretly, sleeping together. That they put you in a third party situation. Someone is getting paid to do something. Someone is paying off another person. There's there's finances being exchanged. This came out sideways, so this is going on now. Now in your future energy. Someone is getting paid to do to take some sort of action. Somebody wants to get paid. Someone's expecting to get paid. Someone may be forced to pay another person some sort of money here. Especially if they stole it. If it's stolen money. Uh, someone's going to have to pay someone for their work. So this has to this could do with your work work situation. Somebody owes you money. Someone could be getting forced to pay someone for their hard work or for whatever work they put in. So somebody could have been stealing your work here. Like I said, they wanted you to build something so they could rip it out from underneath you and just take credit for it. And someone is being forced to pay for what they took or what they took credit for. There could have been something significant about a property or a home. Somebody could have gotten kicked out of a home. So this masculine, either this feminine energy um, walked away from this masculine or something, but I feel like she's out of the picture or this person's gone. So this other feminine energy is gone and this masculine wants to live under the same roof as you. They could want you to live with them or move in with them. Someone, someone was shocked that they were sold a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, so this feminine energy, <laughs> this karmic femme, could have walked away from this masculine because he sold her some bullshit. Um, he said he had this money, he was this, that, and the other. He acted like he was um, holding some prestigious position within the community, and it was all lies. He could have said he ran his own business, um, you know, that he was in charge of things. Like, he acted, he had the air in the um, presence, like he portrayed himself to be like this um, upstanding person out in the community with all these connections and that he had money and it was all bullshit. So he could have ended up with, you know, this, you know, queen of wands energy got bored and she's like, eh, you're just not doing it for me anymore. Maybe something stopped working in the bedroom. I don't want to go too much into that, but, um, yeah, this, this feminine energy uh, found out that she was sold some bullshit, and so she hit the bricks. And this masculine could have left you out in the cold for this person. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, someone is... Someone's homeless, or someone's about to be homeless, or getting kicked out. It's like somebody is, somebody's going to be moving or traveling... You're going to be packing up and moving where somebody wants you to do this. And that came out again. This has something to do with children. Someone could have had a child with someone. Oh. So this feminine could have even gotten pregnant by this masculine. They could have had a child together. Because um, that was a way that this masculine could have stayed attached to this feminine. So here's the thing. While this um, masculine was um, selling this person some bullshit on 
all the stuff that he acted like he had, right? Um, this uh, illusion that he had all these things. She got pregnant, and while she thought she was using him, he was actually using her, and he had a child. He could have intentionally gotten her pregnant to keep attached to her, okay? And to use her for resources or to take the child from her um, and end up maybe forcing her to pay child support or something like that. And it could go the other way, too. Um, but, yeah, someone definitely got kicked out of a house or left a house. Whether it was she left intentionally or he kicked her out. Um, maybe he found out that a child wasn't his because she was at home. Maybe he found out she was sleeping around. <sighs> yeah, someone is hurt. Someone is in pain because they found out that someone was just trying to hurt another person. Someone's in pain because they want to partner up with another person as well. Someone's in pain because they want to partner up with another person. It could be you. They could want to come into partnership with you, come into union with you. Um, Empress here, but you, you're not having it. And there's a couple here that's scared. There's a feminine energy, um, that karmic femme that could be scared that this person wants to come towards you. Or the man could be scared that they can't come towards you because they partnered up with this female. There's an older feminine here, or somebody here who's older. It doesn't have to necessarily be a feminine, but someone could be in their feminine energy throwing a fit here. Um, they're pissed off. They could be losing their shit. They could be having um, like a meltdown here, um, screaming, yelling. Um, this could be uh, one of these people yelling and screaming at another person for being coached into doing something or taking some sort of action. It could be the masculine or feminine. Femul it could be the masculine or feminine that, um, mm. so someone is pissed off because they're being ghosted. So there's an older person. So whoever is older in the, in this situation um, they could be pissed off because they're being ghosted. Someone's trying to find their way out of a situation of the illusion. It's like someone's trying to escape something. A mess that they created. There was a masculine energy here who was observing something and they were getting nervous. about someone's dark intentions. Somebody was really evil. They did some really evil shit and they had a smile on their face when they did it and they don't feel bad about what they did. So that could be why they're getting ghosted. This feminine energy could have also found out what this masculine did to you if you're the empress. Yeah. There's some sort of talk, there's gossip, there's there's rumors going around, there's a lot of talk about this empress here, and about somebody wanting to come towards you, this, this masculine could have ghosted this female, I don't know, like it could go either way, you know, this is a collective read, so however this situation, <laughs> however this big mess of a situation is working out, Someone's pissed off because someone's getting ghosted here the, between these karmic situations. But this person wants to come towards you, but there's still a karmic. It's a false twin connection. Or they chose a false twin connection over you. But I'm not seeing a good outcome for you regarding this person. Just because they want to partner up with you and possibly move in with you or live with you. I, I'm not seeing anything in the cards here that's... It's like someone could even be demanding that you move in with them. It's like, you need to move in with me. You have to do this. You, motherfucker, this person doesn't have to do shit. But someone's trying to demand you do something. This is crazy. They could be even demanding that this per somebody leave. So somebody could be getting kicked out of a house. Someone could be getting forced out of a house. 
because they didn't want to leave. So this feminine energy, maybe she had the baby with this masculine or with somebody else. Maybe he found out it wasn't his, whatever. Um, if it's his house, he could be kicking her ass out. She doesn't want to go, so she could be getting forced out. Someone could... Oh. There's some bad cops, corrupt officials that are involved in this or that were involved in this. Uh, there's a relative that's involved that's depressed because of the role that they played in this situation. Someone will tell you some important information. So there was a secret. There's some important information that someone is trying to keep hidden or from being discovered. Your instincts are on point. So if your instincts told you that something was going on, you're correct. Especially if it's about someone being guilty of having a secret lover. That's true. You did, a cord cutting was needed. You cut your ties with this person. So, man. It's because they were hiding their personality. Thank God I'm an atheist hiding their true personality. They said they gave up their player ways, so they lied. So they said they gave up their player ways. They said they weren't dealing with third parties. They learned their lessons. They'd been seeing somebody for the last six to nine months. Or been, they were living with this person for six to nine months. They were seeing them or living with them. They were doing something with this secret lover for the last six to nine months. You don't feel butterflies around this person anymore. You loved this person possibly at one time. Um, but I feel butterflies near you in the reverse. Uh, you don't feel that way for them. And they're out for revenge. And they didn't want you to get any help, unexpected help. They didn't want you to get any help unless it came from them. They were also trying to cover up some sort of illegal activities. And they were trying to affect your health. Someone needs a balanced diet. They were trying to affect your diet, the way you ate, how you take care of yourself. And they were secretly watching behind the scenes. And I literally said that. And then someone is helping behind the scenes in the reverse. Somebody didn't want you to get any help. Or they didn't think that you were receiving help. They were trying to stop you from getting help. What's holding you back in the reverse? So they were trying to hold you up. They were holding you back by trying to make sure that no one would come and help you. This person was a dark witch or warlock here. And they were lustful. They were in their lustful energy. You've decided to focus on yourself and you're not picking up the phone. Sorry, I didn't pick up my phone. When this person calls you, you're not going to pick up your phone. They're going to be reaching out for you. This karmic, this false twin here. That's because you're a good witch or a light worker. And you know this person is crazy. Jeez. Charges will be filed. So charges will be filed on somebody who did some shady shit. Or someone's trying to get charges filed on a good witch or a light worker. So, like, if, you, if they try to contact you and you deny them or something, like, they're trying to set you up. They're trying to set you up so that you will come towards them, take some sort of action. So maybe they still have something of yours at their house. Um, they could say that someone drove you over to their house to break in and steal whatever this is. And they're trying to press charges on, on you or do something against you and you didn't do anything. There's someone here who's really bad intention. They, they have some bad intentions, and that's because they're afraid. Someone's afraid of his or her own shadow, and they're watching with an eagle eye because they ripped you off. They're a bald-faced liar, and everything was just for show, a dog and pony show. Everything was just for show to rip you off, to steal something from you, and they still want you to be locked up so that they can steal something from you. They're not done. They're not done with you yet, or at least they feel that way, but you already cut the cord, so you're done with them. But they are not done with you, and according to this person, you're not done until they say you're done, but you know what, you, it doesn't really matter what they think. Charges could be filed against this person if they don't leave you alone. <clears throat> Restraining order could be significant. A penny saved is a penny earned. You, you're worried about your finances, you're focused on your finances, or you're just saving your money, you know, watching your money. This person could be in poverty. This bald-faced liar needs money, so they're coming towards you. They need this from you now they're broke now someone was putting on a show 
they're either going to kick the bucket or they tried to make you kick the bucket so they could get these finances from you. Someone was trying to cause a death or they're going to pass away because of whatever they were doing. No, they were passionate about making you die. <clears throat> you have a positive outcome. Fun in the sun. They were passionate. Fan the flames in the reverse. They were passionate about something ending or a death. Bad to the bone. And that could be the Ace of Pentacles too. Okay, so maybe somebody did pass away in your family. Maybe you have money coming. Something like that. You're going to have this new start, new beginning. You have something that's in motion and, and you know, you're moving forward. They could know that you have this coming or think that they can take this from you. And they're passionate about this. So they're coming back to you because they think you have something worth taking. And they're out of options. They're out of money. They could have gotten kicked out of this female's house. Like if this masculine moved in with this female, he, they, she could have kicked him out. I don't know. That's crazy. Someone needs a place to go. This person's just yanking their chain, your chain. They, they have some sort of addiction off the wall, off the wagon. They lost their temper. They lost their cool. This is a broken record. Same shit, different day. You know what I mean? It's like stuck on a loop. It's like they just keep doing the same shit over and over again. Capricorn could be significant. Um, someone can't make the best out of a bad situation. Someone has to go back to square one. A cancer. Saturday. It's only a matter of time. Someone has really high hopes that this is going to work for them, but it's not going to go the way they think it is. I don't even think they're going to answer the phone if they can even contact you. There's a third party here that has high hopes or could have high hopes that something is going to work out. Or it could be a matter of time. Mm. So there's a Taurus here that's being as slippery as an eel. A third party Taurus could be significant. By hook or crook. Force of nature. So if this masculine ripped you off and they're dealing with a karmic fee, female, whatever, this third party could be ripping them off. Somebody was being really slick here. They enlisted the help of a third party here. Someone didn't have victory. They called on their ancestors to help them do some shit, rolling over in their grave. Lack of victory. So someone could have called on their ancestors to help them do some shit. We have a Pisces here. They're trying to add insult to injury. That's in the reverse. The Scorpio's in the reverse. So there's a Scorpio here that's trying to add insult to injury to a Pisces. Um, lose your temper, lose your head. They're trying to get you to lose your temper so you don't get a new start. And they're using the justice system. Justice is blind, so they're using corrupt law officials. False reports, crazy shit. Um, they don't get a clean slate. They're not going to be able to make this happen. They're going to end up losing their temper and having an outburst because they can't provoke you. Seeing eye to eye plays for the other team and blessing in disguise in the reverse so there could be something significant about a thursday with a younger person they could be coming towards you saying that they see they're seeing things your way seeing eye to eye with you this could even be the third party that wants to blow the whistle on something and come towards you and tell you the truth something that they did was a blessing in disguise though this this person could be younger than you your op um this other feminine energy, like if you're a feminine, this is a feminine, they could want to come towards you and say, hey, like, um, I know what you've gone through. I experienced the same thing. Um, I mean, this person, they're starting to see things your way, this younger person. That's because someone has one foot in the grave. So the older person, if this is an older masculine, they could be passing away. That's because they... They're getting ready to experience some trials and tribulations because of what they tried to put you through and they're beating a dead horse. So whatever they're trying to do, it's over. And there's rumors. There's people talking about this, about how they didn't want to learn their lesson. Sagittarius. Someone's a Scorpio Sag Cusper. Something's not written in stone for a Leo. And then we have Scorpio in the reverse again that's under judgment. These people are two peas in a pod. Don't trust any of them. What goes around comes around at noon in December. Somebody did some shit in December. 
and it's coming back to bind on both in the ass. Both of these people. Something's coming back on both of these people. Don't listen to either one of them. Whether it's the karmic female or the karmic male that's coming to communicate something to you. They're both full of shit. They're both liars and they're both thieves. D could be significant. Person, place, or thing. O. I. I heard doink. I don't know. Doink. I don't know what that means. Another eye. Someone's definitely being watched. Someone is wanting to say I do. So, wow. So now they want to live under the same roof as you. Possibly propose or some crazy shit. Why? G. They're digging a hole that they can't get out of. You. T, listen to your gut instincts here. Somebody may want to marry you and you need to you need to listen to your intuition. Somebody wants to tell you why it's like it's like someone wants to make excuses for what they're doing, and it's like they want to come to you and say, well, this is why I do the things I do. And it's like there really is no excuse for it. S. Someone is trying to build up or have the guts to come towards you and ask you something. Just be careful, man. I, I feel like this person means you no good. Like, they just really don't mean you any good. And V. Alright, I hope this helps. Have a good day.